watching YouTube videos showing uh, rifle caliber pistols like this Sig Sauer P556. You'll notice that a lot of guys will just hold them at the waist and just let them rock into the dirt um, or they'll hold them up like this and use their sight and just kind of area shoot with them and I see a lot of comments saying yeah that looks fun but it's not practical and uh, I vehemently disagree with that not only do you get the benefit of uh, your concealed carry pistol privileges with a firearm like this but also it's a very handy package to have there's two things that'll make a uh, SIG P556 very practical and I'm going to demonstrate that. Uh, the first thing you need is the uh, Urban ERT sling or something of your own creation that's uh, the same thing. Something that you can put up, punch out and rest your cheek on to stabilize it. And when you use forward pressure with both hands the thing is rock solid. It's the opposite of what you're used to but it has the same effect. The other thing is you have to have a holographic sight like the EOTech because it's very difficult to index uh, a diopter sight or you know peep sight with the front sight just by putting it out there because there's nothing to anchor your head in relation to the firearm so you, you don't have a repeatable mount there so you need something that you can pick up real fast and there is no parallax error with these uh, holographic sights. So you get this thing mounted in a, in a location back here that you can just get it up, out, and it's right there and you can fire uh, very quickly. I doubt if there's any other platform that you could put into action faster than this when you've got it mounted right in front like this. So when I what I do is uh, using the ERT, uh, using it as a two point with the uh, Prusik slid all the way out in front. Is I put it up, punch it out, find the sight, and uh, it's right on. I just hit a soda can at 25 yards. Um, let me see if I can do that again. Up out. Yeah, it's about an inch low. The thing is incredible. And uh, without these tools, it is very difficult. When you see the guys that are just kind of holding it like this, that thing's wobbling all over the place. I can see my uh, holographic uh, image just dancing when I do this. I don't see how you could ever have any fun like that. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Okay, I've got my enemy target set up, a standard IPSC steel silhouette. Okay, I'm at 100 yards. Listen for the hits. There's no way I could shoot that fast without the sling. No doubt about it. So the, the let me get my wide angle adapter on again. Okay, so the the cool thing about this is it's got this prusik here that you can uh, you grab the tab and you can pull for transitioning you can make it any and grab the body and push away and it stays right there so you can uh, set it up instantly for any length that you need if you're changing position or shooting uh, left-handed and yeah, that's a really nice feature going from a two point like this instantly to a one point so you can really push it out Having your cheek weld on the strap though, I think that's what really makes the difference. And then using that uh, easy to acquire EOTech, uh, where there's only, there's not two objects that you have to align. You don't have to get your eye in the right spot and then find the front sight. 
I think that would slow you down too much using fixed sights or using the the cheap red dot sights. I don't think those are any good. Uh, the red dot sight that originally came with this P556 never took it out of the box. I'll or probably sell it on 22 because uh, it isn't really practical for this. Uh, I mean the ability of this firearm far exceeds the quality of that red dot. So look at how handy this thing is. You can just hang there all day, walk around in the woods or uh, whatever you want. You could actually drive around on a four-wheeler like this. And since it is a technically a pistol, there's a lot of places you can do that legally. I'm a little bit tight on this sling. I could actually ease it out just a bit. But uh, if you have your, your elbows locked in and you're choked up good, it gets your face close to that image for your uh, holographic sight and it allows uh, quick acquisition. It's very stable. I'm extremely pleased with this system. So uh, hopefully somebody else can get some use out of this and we won't hear about how impractical these uh, rifle caliber pistols are. Yeah! I'll tell you what, I just had to share this experience because, you know, I've been shooting for decades now. Well, more than three decades. And I'll tell you quite honestly, I haven't really had this much fun with a firearm in as long as I can remember. Uh, especially because you're doing something that people say you can't do, you know, oh, that's just those rifle pistols, um, you know, like the, uh, the AR pistols, which I've never even shot one of those, um, you know, these things. They say you can't hit anything with them, that they're just for dirt shooting. And dirt shooting's great fun too, you know, there's nothing against that at all. But uh, there's always something more exciting about shooting guns beyond their typical capability. And 100 yards for this handy little thing is uh, well within its capability. And it's just something I wasn't really aware of. Or maybe you weren't either. But it's the, the sling and the uh, EOTech that make it possible. Awesome, I love it. It's just, uh, just like having a 16 inch uh, SIG or AR or whatever. Only it's incredibly handy. Just holding it like this. You can even wear it on your back. I want to thank you all for coming out again to shoot with me and you can expect to see more of this Sig Sauer P556 in future videos.